Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to install Oracle 21C on Windows operating system. So we are going to install Oracle on Windows step by step. So we will follow these steps. First we will see system requirements. What are the system requirements for installation? And then we are going to download the software from official Oracle website. Then after downloading, we will install the software. And finally, we are going to validate the software. All right, so let's start with the system requirements. What are the system requirements? So if you see, these are the system requirements. So suggested by Oracle, right? So this is from the Oracle official documentation. So for operating system, you, you need at least Windows 10, 64 bit uh, Windows 10. And you can see if you are using virtualization VM, so it supports Oracle VM server and Microsoft Hyper-V. And this is important, disk space and RAM. So you need at least 8.5 gigabytes for the software plus two gigabytes or more for the temporary storage. So that's the disk space minimum requirement. And how about the RAM? So we need at least two gigabytes of RAM. So this is the system requirement. This is the prerequisite before we install the software, right? So now let us see how to download the software. So how to download the software? Go to Google and just type in Oracle 21C installer, or you can even say for Windows as well. So you'll see first link, Oracle Database 21C download for Microsoft Windows 64, right? So just click on it. And you can see here a zip file with a link, right? So we need this zip file. So we are going to extract this and then we will start the installation. So we first, we need to download this software. So just click on this and you will get the license agreement. You can check this. You can select this checkbox and just say download window, download the zip file. So if you are not logged in, then it will navigate to the login page. So you just need to log in, to, log in with your credentials. If you don't have account, then you, you can create an account by clicking on create account. And once you create the account, you can just log in with your credentials. So once you log in, so you can download the zip file. See, it will ask you to wait, uh, it has to be downloaded. So you can just select the folder and just click on save. So in my case, I already downloaded the zip file. So you can see the uh, zip file here, right? So in your case, you will just say save. And depending on, on your network connection, it will take some time. It is around 2.5 GB, so it will take uh, some time. So once the complete zip file is downloaded, right? So what we need to do? So that's about downloading the software, right? So then we need to install the software. But before this, so it's a zip file, right? So we need to actually extract the zip file. So how do we do that? So right click on the zip, zip file and you will say extract all right so you'll just say extract all and then then just say extract right so once you do extract it will again take some time to extract and you'll get it in a like this in a folder so once it is extracted so you'll get a folder with the same file name as what you have for your zip file and inside it you'll get the contents like this i already extracted it so you should be getting files inside it like this, right? Then once you get it, so let me put it here, downloaded the software. So, and then others. So once download is done, you'll be extracting the zip file. And also I'll put the system requirements. So you can go through this using this link. Download software, right? So this is the link, or you can just type in. So, and once you download the software, you, you will extract the zip file. And once extraction is done, so you'll get the contents of the file like this in a folder, right? So now we are gonna install the software. So according to this step, right? Download software is done and we extracted the zip file. Then we are gonna install the software according to step three. So let's install the software. So how do we install it? So if you see the contents, the last file, you'll see setup file, right? You'll see the type as application. So right click on it and do run as administrator. 
click on run as administrator. You'll get a pop-up. So just click on yes. So a wizard will be open. Oracle installer wizard will be open. So we just need to wait for a few seconds. Yeah. This is the wizard, Oracle Database 21C installer wizard, right? So this is where the installation process starts. It will just take a few seconds uh, to launch the wizard. Yeah, and you can see the configuration option, right? So from here, so you should follow the instructions as is, right? So you can see create and configure a single instance database. So just select that, the default one, and click on next. So do you need desktop class or server class? So it will go with desktop class. So again, the default one, click on next. So we are going to use the virtual account. We are not going to create, use the existing Windows uh, user or not create a new user. So if you want to create, you can create a new Windows user or you can click on this radio button, use existing Windows user and provide the existing Windows user for maintaining the Oracle database software, right? So I am using the virtual account, which is the default one. So just click on next. So once you click on next, you'll be taken to a new page where we'll be asked to provide some details. So Oracle base, Oracle base is where actually, you know, it is a base directory where the Oracle software will be installed and, you know, you'll have the log files, diagnostic files, admin files and so on, right? So this we need to provide. So what we can do is we can create a, so a software like, uh, you know, I'll just say Oracle slash base like this and just say select. This is the place where I wanted to install my Oracle software, right? And uh, you can see it automatically identified the software location. D in D it is there, right? So this is the place where I extracted the software and database file location. So database file location. So this also we need to provide, right? So what's the difference between Oracle base and data file base file location is, so Oracle base is the place where we actually install the Oracle software and database file location is the, where the actual data, so which we are gonna create, right? So in the form of tables or views, so that data will be stored in this location, which is called a database file location. So you can provide some location here. Usually that will be a subdirectory of the Oracle base location. And you can see I have provided the Oracle base aura data. So that's how it actually gives you as a suggestion. So I'll take that and I'll provide that. So it's again up to you, up to you. You can provide any directory of your choice here. But these two are mandatory. Oracle base where Oracle software will be installed and database file location where the actual Oracle data like table spaces, redo logs, control files will be stored, right? So that will provide and database edition, enterprise edition, keep it as is character set, uh, you can say unique code and global database name. So here we can provide this database name. This will be our SID where we will be providing while connecting to the database. So I'll even keep this as default and pluggable database name also ORCL PDB. All these are configurable, you can put it whatever uh, you wanted according to your choice. I'll just leave it default and password. You can choose any password again. So just provide the same password, password and confirm password should be the same. And uh, yeah, that's it. And then just click on next. So you, so once we do that, we'll get a summary. So prerequisite checks will be done. So the system requirements and, uh, you know, the other prerequisite checks will be done and uh, we'll be taken onto a summary page. So this year we can review the summary, like, uh, you know, what is our Oracle Home user install method. So whatever we have selected till now, till this step. So that summary will be provided here. You can check here that information, right? And once you're fine with this summary, then you can just click on install. This actually installs the Oracle software on our machine. So, so once you go through this, just go ahead with clicking on install button. So once you click on install button, so it will take some time, be patient. So once it comes, this installation progress, right? So it comes to 100%, meaning that uh, installation software installation is done. So till that time, we just need to be patient and wait for that.
So done. So this is what uh, you'll see once the installation is successful, the configuration of the Oracle database is successful. This is the message you should be seeing once the installation is successful. Now let us see how to validate the software. So according to our steps, so the last step is validating the software. So we'll verify if the software is installed successfully or not. So just hit your start button and just go to command prompt. Open a command prompt and type in this command SQL plus then username slash the password which we gave during the installation at the rate localhost localhost that is where the software has been installed colon 1521 is the port by default where oracle listener will be running slash SID which we provided during the installation ORCL was the ID right so we have to provide this index hit enter so it should say connected to successfully right so you can see Oracle Database 21C Enterprise Edition Release 21, right? So this is the message you have to see to confirm the installation is successful. Also, if you want, you can do a query like select star from DL, right? And just you can see the output. So this confirms the software has been installed successfully. Or if you don't want it to open the command prompt, so you can just hit the start button again and type in SQL plus. So you'll also see SQL plus. This is the client for the Oracle software. So just click on it. It asks for the username and password. You just don't need to provide the syntax. You can just provide directly username and password here. And the same again, it should say connected to Oracle database, right? So that's how you can actually confirm that the software has been installed successfully. Right? So this is how you actually install the Oracle 21C on Windows. So that's it for today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech content. And if you have any questions or run into any issues, right? So leave a comment below. I'll do my best to, you know, help you out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.